All right, hope everybody's having a great day. This is my long distance bike. When I say long distance, I typically uh, ride this bike 100 miles or more. Uh, it's very, very comfortable. I'll tell you a little bit about it. I've got Elite Wheels, the uh, Drive 50D. I really like them. They only weigh 1,300 grams. Awesome wheels, carbon fiber spokes, ceramic bearings. These are awesome wheels for uh, basically $1,000, $1,100. They've held up really nice. I've had them about three months. How long will they last? I don't know the durability of them, but I've hit some potholes pretty hard with them and they seem to hold up pretty good. I currently have 32 millimeter tires on them. I'm running the Continental Grand Prix 5000 S TRs. I noticed no difference in speed running these versus 28s. I will say that. So uh, the debate over wider tires I feel like 32s are just as fast and they are more comfortable than 28s. 28s are much more comfortable than 23s or 25s. But uh, so far, I really like these. Uh, I like the way they handle. And I run about, I weigh 175 and I, I run them at about 55 to 60 pounds of pressure. So that gives you a little bit of idea about the wheel setup and tires. I've got a SRAM Rival on here. The, <coughs> excuse me, this pollen's terrible in the south. SRAM Rival, and uh, I really like it. It's an electronic group set. I thought I'd, I've always gone with Shimano, and I really like Shimano Ortega systems, but I, I love the battery setup. It seems like I've been out with friends with Shimano electric shifting, and they've had troubles with the wires. And they would actually lose power or their battery would go dead. And if my battery goes dead on one of them, I can swap them out, then go from one to the other, get me back home. Whereas when their battery goes dead, they're just screwed, glued, and tattooed. So anyhow, that's why I went with the SRAM. So far, I really like these. Uh, uh, almost wish I'd just gone with a one by. And, uh, but I mean, not that this doesn't work, it works great. But I think a one by would be pretty cool uh, to try out. But like I said, this bike works great. This this two by works great. Changes great. It auto corrects for you uh, when you go up or down. So I really like that. I like that about electronic shifting. Highly recommend it. I've got this uh, Garmin uh, radar detector. I forget what these are called. V Vista V A R I V A R I L R T L 510. This is my second one. The old one I used to have set like this on there. This works really good. I like the way the first one worked better. It didn't pick up bicycles, but this one pick up bicycles coming up behind you. But uh, I really like it. Tells you if a car is coming behind you, and you can do it where it's a solid color or it's flashing. I do flashing. And I've done eight hour nine hour rides with it and it's lasted the whole time so pretty good battery life i'm not sure what the battery life supposed to be you can look that up yourself but uh you know it, it lasts at least nine hours i do know that with the with the flashing mode so really like that uh, i've got this uh x lab turbo uh rear bottle holder on here with the gorilla bottle cages these really hold the bottles tight now you want to make sure you get your right type of bottles that come in here and click on this right here so they don't bounce out when you're going down the road that's really really important uh, but so far I really like it I haven't had this too long but it's getting hot so I thought I might need uh, more water right uh, this is a 3d printed uh, seat the titanium rails it's 3d printed uh, power saddle really like this i absolutely love this seat see it's nice and soft i had this about a year had it on a different bike you can see it still looks brand new very very happy with this very soft you can ride up on the front of it with these aero bars i keep these aero bars on here because they're highly comfortable on long rides i did put these new bars on here these speed shop 51 speed shop i really like the way they look i got the profile design uh, pads and then I just put the extensions on there for the 51 speed shop so far I really like them I've got on order supposed to be here Monday I'm so excited about this I got the wireless blips 
so I can change gears up here and I have to come down here and change the gear. So it'll be right here, it'll be wireless, won't have to run any wires because of the electronic setup. I just connect it through my rear derailleur and it works just like these work, just a little button on each side. Very, very happy with that. Very excited, looking forward to having that. Okay, uh, you see I've got a, this is a Wahoo element bolt, I believe. I really like it, it works fine. Nice little computer, haven't had any problems with it. Seems to have good battery life. I think they're supposed to have 20 hours. Don't quote me on that. But like I said, it's lasted nine hours and still had plenty, I think 50% battery life after nine hours. So I really like it. Uh, got giant water bottle cage holders. This is a size 56. This whole setup with, with uh, when I don't have all my parts in here, uh, weighs about 19.2 pounds. Uh, but when I put all my stuff in there, I run uh, two cartridges. I got a little pump in there. I've got tire plug. And then I have, I see, uh, two cartridges and, of course, uh, two air cartridges. And, of course, the, uh, the adapter to put it on your tire, the plug. And let's see, what else? And I got a tool, a tire tool. And then I got, I also carry uh, a chain uh, adapt I forget what you call them, but you know what I'm talking about to piece the chain back together and I've got the tool to take the chain apart So that's a good bit of weight. That's probably a pound or more inside there That that adds to it, but it's nice to have on long trips when you get a long way from home Don't have to call your wife girlfriend brother kid, whatever It's just nice to have with you take care of it yourself. I've got these uh, Power meter pedals, I absolutely love them. They work great, I've had them for a while and I swap them from bikes to bikes. I don't know how accurate they are. They do work continuously, but I'm assuming they're very accurate. Everybody says they are on all the YouTube channels that, that do all that testing stuff, okay? I put this zip carbon fiber uh, seat post on here just because I don't like aluminum. Uh, this one, does it flex any? It's, I mean, it's, it's in there, it's so short on there, I can't imagine it does anything as far as flexing. So just keep that in mind. If you're gonna spend a whole bunch of money, I got this for looks, so I didn't like the way the aluminum one looked. But uh, you know, you probably need it to extend up out of there a little bit longer to create more flex and make the ride more comfortable. These 32 millimeter tires probably make the biggest difference in comfort on the bike. It is an extremely comfortable bike, most comfortable bike I've ever had so far. It is a Cervelo Caladeno, I believe is what it's called. I'm from the South. I'm not very good with all those fancy names, but uh, I really like this bike. It's got kind of a metallic black finish to it. Uh, don't care much for this down here. I mean, it's nice that it protects it. It's a rubber piece, but uh, you know, you just can't get that shined up and looking good. And uh, if that's important to you, then, uh, you know, you may not even like the bike just because of that. But it is what it is. It does protect it. So that's nice. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, the brakes, the uh, rival brakes work great. No complaints with them. Very, very happy with them so far. Then this, I believe this is called a tail fin bag. This is the 1.1 or 1.2 liter. I like it better. I put a 0.8 on there and my leg kept catching it. It was it's a little bit shorter, not quite as tall, but when I would stand up out of the seat on this particular bike, it would catch my my uh, shorts on that. And it would just, not every time, but sometimes it would catch. And it, it's, it actually tore a pair of my $200 pair of shorts, which is very aggravating. Uh, but anyhow, so... Uh, <laughs> It would catch right on here but this bigger bag does not do that very happy with the bigger bag your phone can fit in there and all kinds of other things so very happy with that it is waterproof that's my bike i use this bike for long distance riding super super comfortable i love the aero bars for that if you stay down in the aero bars and ride them all the time you know you might pick up another three quarters of a mile per hour uh over the whole trip but if you don't use them all the time, you know, they're, if you just use them occasionally, you're going to pick up a little bit of speed, but not as much, you know, just like anything. The more you use it, the faster you go, 
the faster these are over regular handlebars. Uh, you probably don't need these if you're trying to increase your speed, if you can't average, you know, 19 miles an hour. I'm not saying it's not gonna help you if you average 16 miles an hour, because it definitely will at different times, because sometimes you're gonna be going faster downhill flat on rollers. But the faster you go, the more of these will help you versus regular handlebars. Oh, there's one other thing. I got the, the, I got the Bontrager Aero, yeah, Elite Aero handlebars on here. Really like them. They got kind of an arrow shape. You can't hardly tell because of the uh, uh, tape on here, but uh, but they are the Aero, Elite Aeros. I don't even know if they make them anymore, but they're awesome bars. They're kind of compact bars. I really, really like them. Uh, this bike is kind of geared like all Cervelo's, kind of aerodynamic. I mean, it's a fast bike. I really, really like it. Uh, got no complaints. This is my favorite bicycle, and I've got a, I've got like six of them. So uh, anyhow, look for reviews on those bikes. But anyhow, yes. See, what do we? Hey, uh, just one other thing while I'm here. This sealant is awesome. It's the first sealant I've ever had that worked. So I'm very, very impressed with it. You put this in, and then 90 days later, to 120, you put the replenisher back in. Uh, I've got a video on that. And there's all kinds of videos online about that. But uh, if you're running tubeless, which I am, I highly recommend those. I think uh, it works. If I had a flat and it squirted sealant all over the back of my bike, but uh, it just washes off with a, with a hose and a little bit of soap. Came off no problem. And it plugged the tire while I was riding. I didn't even know it happened until I stopped to get some water. So uh, I couldn't even tell that any tire, any air had gotten out of the tire. And uh, I looked for the hole and I could actually see the hole in the tire. So it sealed it and it's still holding. So that's awesome, awesome, awesome. I run about 55 to 60, like I said in there. You run more pressure, maybe it won't work, I don't know. But for me, it works with these tires at that pressure. Absolutely love this bike. You don't need a fancy aero bike. I've got a fancy aero bike. I got a Scott foil uh, with the fancy handlebars, with the MB wheels. I love this bike better. I absolutely do. It's so much more comfortable. I'm an older person. Maybe you're younger. Maybe you like being lean way over. Is the Scott foil faster than this? Well, not with the aero bars on it, but uh, Without that, yeah, it's probably faster, but not over a long distance because this bike's so comfortable. And these wheels compared to the Envy's are just as good and they're half the price, <laughs> more than half the price. But, but anyhow, I really like these wheels, 1300 grams. You can tell a difference climbing with these versus other wheels. They hold speed pretty well. Got no complaints about them. Hopefully they'll last a long time. You know, you get a little concerned about the carbon fiber spokes, but uh, so far so good. They send you extra spokes with it. So if you pop one, you can get it replaced. They're easily repaired, it looks like. So who knows how long they'll last? I don't know. They're Chinese, but most of us made in China or Taiwan or somewhere in Asia. But hopefully they got good quality standards going and they'll last a long time. Like I said, I really like them so far. But that's my bike for long distance riding. Thanks for watching. Take care. God bless. Please like and subscribe.